Hey YouTube, happy Monday. <clears throat> well, y'all know I couldn't be following this story for a whole damn year and make no mention of current events, the latest. Okay, for the last few days, we've been waiting for these results, right? Still don't encourage doxing, but on Friday, Tracy said that she was going to call this boy uh, H&R department and find out if he was employed there. I, uh oh, here we go. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, we finally got light in the apartment, but now they're working in the hallway so that carpet people are out there. So I have a hard time uh, controlling the child. I try to lock him in the bathroom. He, he gets away from me. <laughs> so I know he really doesn't want to be in there. Anyway, so Teresa said, I didn't know if she was bluffing or not. But I could see the proverbial beads of sweat rolling down Jay Wilson's head since Friday. In my mind's eye. Not literally. But he was very nervous about uh, people finding out where he works. Why? Because he doesn't really work there. All right, so I was, I, she, she just broke this about an hour ago. Tracy called this, this company where he works, and on the phone, we heard her verify that this man was terminated, and the lady did say terminated. Actually, her words was term date uh, of 9-17. So ever since 9-17, he has been unemployed. I don't know how long Jay Wilson thought he was going to continue to rip those people off for a paycheck. We saw the hours and hours and hours and hours and hours he put into YouTube. And everyone had to ask, I wonder the same thing. How is this dude able to have a full-time job? Which he always claimed it was a full-time job, right? Which would allow him to pick on people who lost their job. Now remember, you can't be feeling sorry for this dude because only was it only a month ago that he was... Teasing Miss Treacy, you don't got no job. I don't think you got no job. Oh, nobody in your job likes you. Oh, they voted you out. Voted you out. You know, you're no good. And all this kind of shit, right? Having people go down to the girl's job, try to verify that she no longer works in a salon. Jay, Jay Wilson did everything that he is happening to him. He has done to other people. He has particularly done this to this girl, Treacy. So it seems like poetic justice that she would have the honor of unveiling his masquerade. So he was, ter his, I have my light back, but I still got to figure out how to work the light because I, I'm only turning my camera because now I got too much light. The shit is just, y'all want to see San Francisco? Let me see. Hold on. I've been under wraps for a whole year, right? No light at all. Now I'm going to see. Maybe you can see. I don't know. Can you see San Francisco? I think this bar might be in the way. In the way. Anyway, you see the mountains there and all that. I, I have to turn. I record on my computer, so I have to turn the whole computer around in order to see out. But I'll figure out about how to do the light again. I, well, I, I do know that it, I can record in the window because I did it before. All right. So where were we at? Yeah. So Jay Wilson, while he's on here talking about other people can't keep a job, and might got no job. Accuse me of being on Social Security, which uh, I happen to be. But I really found that offensive that he would try to use my 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 financial situation against me. You would love to have that check coming in every month, boy. So now, my baby, please. <sighs> All right. Hopefully we ain't got to lock the baby in the bathroom. So anyway, I don't know how long he thought these people were going to put up with him uh, faking and collecting a check from them. Now, I don't know what kind of, how his job works. And we'll, know the tr we'll never know the truth about that, right? So we established here that Jay Wilson is a liar. 
He's not going to tell you the truth. He's going to always try to put himself on some pedestal like he's somebody special. He got no problems. Oh, everything's good. Everything is wonderful. Anyway, I heard the woman uh, say myself that, that he was terminated on the 17th. So for last month, then to add insult to injury, apparently he's being investigated on this cash app deal. I don't know what that entails. If, or someone just reported him for using ca cash app inappropriately. But they're, they're investigating him for fraud. So we'll see how all that works out. You see, yesterday, just last night, late last night, I said, this boy is headed for an epic fail, an epic fall from grace. Although he was never in the grace of a lot of us. So no, I'm not going to cry for Jay Wilson because he didn't lost the damn job. One less thing to brag about, I guess. Right? What is amazing is he wouldn't come on here and say that he had lost his job. While he's talking about everybody else who lost their jobs, and they all on food stamps, and they all got raggedy-ass houses, and all the things that are wrong with everyone else's life on here, all to always to put himself above and them beneath. He didn't have no job himself. He's been unemployed for a month. So one month, let me see, that would, they were probably giving him enough for the mortgage. So now the mortgage is in jeopardy. See how fast it could all fall at Papa Jace Wilson? Before you got that bullshit job, it would take you a long time to find one, right? I think you got offered a job with Greyhound. You got to get on the road. That would be ideal. If they could get you out of that damn house and on the road, we wouldn't have to look at you so much. He was offered a job from Greyhound but he had to ride drive the bus and he chose this one here this uh prep company pharmaceutical company because i guess he saw an easy dollar in it those people are not non-profits they are in it for profit pharmaceutical companies are in it for huge profits how you think they're going to just put up with you doing nothing for them and collecting a paycheck it had to fall apart you were on here too much. You may have gotten, he might have gotten fired, frankly, from being on here. That might be it because he was on here all day, the first thing in the morning, afternoon, evening. He got drunk on the money, on the incomes that was coming in, the YouTube money and the pharmaceutical money and the hash apps and, and PayPal and all of this stuff that he felt like he couldn't be touched. And it can all fall apart just like that. So now whatever money he's been able to rip you guys off for, now he's got to use it on the mortgage. And guess what? The mortgage is due every single month. So I guess Jay Wilson, is, is he's got a decision to make. Is it back to Uber? Basically a private cab driver. Back to that, he doesn't seem to be able to hold a job. From my understanding, he even got fired from that, that, from that uh, church from playing the organ. First of all, the playing is horrible. But also because of his bossy attitude and wanting to run every damn thing. That character is probably, he's probably unemployable. That's what I would think. It's why you like that job so much because you can just go on, online and just pretend. No conscience. He don't have no conscience. So I guess he's felt like it's okay to go in there and rip the people off. Report income. In, report things that, that weren't actual, actual facts. Or it could have just been that he just went producing. They're not nonprofits. These are profit co companies for profit. He always said he worked in corporate America. Everything is corporate America. He was a flying waiter working for Delta. He said, he said oh, I, I had no problem in corporate America. What the fuck you mean, corporate America? You are a steward. Anyway, anyway. So I'm not trying to take uh, the glory from this story from Creasy. She did her footwork. I, I frankly didn't... Uh, well, I didn't know. I, I, it never occurred to me that this boy would get on here and lie every day and say he had a job that he didn't, didn't have. But she saw it early on. She knew. I just figured that he found something online that he, he was just ripping the people off and collecting money from them. Well, maybe they saw it the same way. Anyway, the Jay Wilson got fired on the, on the 17th. We will never know what happened there. Never. He doesn't have the capacity to tell the truth about anything. He only has the capacity to get into other people's business, what their living situation is, 
what their diagnosis is. So, I guess you lose on this one, Jay Wilson. Your lie has been revealed. Your lies have been revealed. Now, it doesn't take no brain uh, 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 brain surgeon to go and look back at your videos and hear you're bragging and bragging and bragging about this job, which you didn't even have. You've been off for a month. You didn't ever stay. You not made no, no indication whatsoever there was any problem at all with the job. That's why you were checking in your boots since Friday. When the other girl called, called that. Apparently, that was an old call. She just replayed it. But uh, the wheels were set in motion. When you're living in a glass house. So I would say, Jay Wilson, don't take this to try to get even with people and continue to do your mess. Because whatever you do, uh, messy, someone else can outdo you, messy. You're not a very honest person. So if they ever actually started looking into your life and your background and all this stuff, all this stuff you claim, we know there's all kind of stuff there. You just lied about your job. You say, what do you get up and pretend you're going to work every day? Oh, I can't be on today. I got to go on this assignment. Oh, I got to go down to the office today. You know, you're just saying that shit. Apparently on the 17th, when you went into the office, they, they say they wanted to see you in HR. Not a peep. Just came on back bragging just like, like you Superman the same day. No doubt. Does that boy know that you're unemployed? The one you're always bragging about, he got his own job and his own place and all that. Does he know that he's going to be carrying dead weight? We don't want to see you any more hours than you're already pressing it. You're already giving us nine, ten hours a day. What do you think you're going to do? Pump it up to 15 hours a day? Night and day? Round the clock? Non-stop? You've already bled this thing for as much as you can bleed it for. And now when people un uncover your lies, they start to suspect everything you ever said. It's all been a lie. What is this real relationship with this guy you start saying you, you this was your lover in three weeks? Now you are looking for condos. It's, it looks like you might need a condo. Perhaps you might be able to pull something out of that house and downsize, which is what you should have done when you lost the original job. Apparently, out of your own mouth, you said, everyone was telling me I had to give up my house. Everyone was telling me I had to get it. No, now you got to hustle even harder. Night and day. Or you can go and try to get a real job. Congratulations, Tracy. I don't like doxing, but I think what she did, she did it professionally. I mean, she just called. I was surprised because I thought she would have to... Uh, Identify herself as, as a apartment building or, or uh, a place of employment. People, some job he applied at or, or a credit card. She didn't have to say anything. All she had to say was, I, I want to know if he works there. The one people, they even had a department that were glad to give the information. So, I'm glad you felt my, my financial situation so amusing. I bet you wish you had that check coming in though. Much as you worship money, whatever you've been able to squirrel away from the, all these ripoffs of yours, now you got to put it into that mortgage. Or, or you can get off your ass and get a real job. 